We'll start with a picture from 1976, and then a diploma from 1998, and then we'll get on with the video about the unauthorized DVDs. Now, Willem, lope. One side. Ah, oh, shit, cut. Cut. Dark on Lope. Can you see him? Mm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. The follow over here. Follow over here. Follow. Lope and Willem. Yeah. Just follow through here. Don't even look to the screen. Just look through here. Now, Rex, Willem. Now, Rex. Now, Lynx. Naar links, naar de, naar de bergen kijken, naar rechts. Naar rechts, naar rechts. Kom op de rok, Willem. Naar rechts, deze rok. Je moet het al over doen, Willem. Weet je, niet naar die rok gaan, Willem. We okay. kunnen het al over. Je moet daar op gaan staan. Doe het over. It's hell to do movies. <laughs> You ready? Anytime you're ready. We're on. Oh. Aya Willem, gaan. Luister naar mijn woord, Willem. Door de gaan. Rustig. Rustig. Naar rechts. Naar de bergen kijken. Naar rechts. Naar, naar links. Naar, naar mij toe gaan, Willem. Naar de bergen kijken. En je hand draaien, je hele body draaien, zo je kan je kind die Chris zien. Nou naar rechts, naar hier kijken. Naar de bergen kijken. Je hand openmaken. Ga teruglopen. Teruglopen. Terug. Naar links. Naar links. Naar links. Naar links. Hier heb stappen. Naar links. Goed, goed. Hier komen nou. Naar links. Links. Naar links. Naar links. Naar links. Naar rechts. Doorstappen. 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 En nu moet je je vorm doen. Naar links. Dan moet ik de ding eruit halen. Rustig aan. Ga maar, hoeft niet. Aha. Hoeft niet, ga maar een vorm doen ermee. Oké. Okay. Ik kan niet bukken, maar dat weet ik. Ken, probeer maar. Okay. Naar beneden gaan, zo je hebt een flatte grond. Nou, ik doe de sjaal in, oké? Naar rechts gaan, Willem. Ga terug naar de originele. Achteruit, als je kan, zo je kan het okay, meer zien. Wait. Daar blijven als je kan. Naar de bergen kijken nou. Hand omhoog. Twee handen omhoog. Kijk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
this is Guru Gaudin, it's like old times. It is for a fact. We uh, have the opportunity of passing along some of the knowledge that you have to future generations by um, way of the video camera. So thus began a wonderful series of videos. This was the beginning and the end of the first five videos that uh, I made through American Magnetic Media. And these were the ones that I had to order a hundred of, of each one uh, on every run that I ran them. So it wasn't too long after this that uh, uh, Roberto Torres and Art Gitlin came along and wanted to take over the Kunlun Pai. And uh, they threatened Willem with a lot of money. And uh, so he uh, kicked me out for uh, challenging masters, he said. But nonetheless, uh, that was uh, not true. In a couple of years, he invited me back. As, as a matter of fact, he begged me to come back. There was twice in all the time that I knew Willem that he actually bought breakfast. And they were both the times that I came back after he had kicked me out for one thing or another. So in this particular case, in 1994, he, uh, he told me, hey, look, I know that I screwed up with the video thing. I'm going to give you a contract uh, for forever for you and your family, and you're never going to need to worry about this again. So it wasn't too long after that, well, about 1999, that he kicked me out again. And this time was for picking fights with the government. And so this was the outcome of that. Along came a few other people that uh, wanted to make tapes. And uh, Willem said, well, you know, I have this contract. <laughs> so he started trying to nullify this perpetual contract for 100% filming rights. Now, in the beginning, you can see he and Victor here together at Thunder Rock with Fang the dog, and we're uh, united in mind. But that can always change with both Willem and Victor. There is one thing that you can rely on with Willem is that he's gonna lie and he's gonna change his mind. But nonetheless, this was how this all began. And by the, by the time that 212 came along, and Willem was denying that he'd ever made a contract, and if he did make it, that it wasn't any good. So everything just changed awfully suddenly again and again. So what began as a united effort soon became the biggest thorn in Willem's side he'd ever had. He was forced to keep his word. This technique is Honan uh, Shaolin, uh, Shaolin Kun Tao. Okay. It's from the pole system, Kunlun Pai. Okay, so the, what I do is uh, just in the movement, okay? This happens to be the only time and place that Willem did not get paid for filming. This he did gratis. Every other time was at seminars and he was making a lot of money while I was doing the filming and producing the videos, and distributing them, and giving them to him for free. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Can you say hi, April? It's okay. Okay. Who are you sitting with? Dale. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, it's a pleasure. It's, it's, been, uh, it has been a great pleasure spending with you in the Colorado forest. And I wish you a goodbye until next time. Until next time. God bless you, my friend. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be looking forward to the next time. Brother Steve, it always has been a great pleasure I've been spending time with you and especially in the Colorado Forest. Thank you for your time. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. 
It is ludicrous for Willem to say that he did not authorize the videos or the DVDs or the tappics or whatever he calls, whatever it is he calls them. I mean, you can see here that he was absolutely deeply involved in the production of these videos, playing to the camera at all times and seeing to it that his personal message was put out to the world. Now these videos have done nothing but good for Willem de Tours. He developed an entire seminar circuit based upon the fact that these videos were sent prior to his going anywhere. And when he went there, he took with him dozens of video for sale and sold them at the seminars for a premium price, more than I was selling them Thank for. Thank Shall you. we walk? Yes. Willem de Tours is a liar. He cannot force himself to tell the truth when the truth would serve him. He insists upon lying. Now, this video was all about the unauthorized videotapes. But let me leave you with one more thing. He claims that I was a four-year practitioner. And yet, this very document that's in front of you right now, from 1996 or so, says that I'd already been there 20 years. I mean, just take a look at there. And Ed has over 20 years of training. You know, I mean, my goodness. Why can't the man tell the truth about anything? Is there anything that he tells the truth about? Now, you know, yeah, bless you people. I, I trust that these videos are going to help you to understand that Willem cannot be trusted to tell the truth about anything. This was 1998, excuse me. But nonetheless, yeah, bless you each and every one. And I hope Willem doesn't get to you.